Java Balls! Hi there, how are you? This is my video on how to paint Tau Fire Warriors. Let me check the screen here. It's going to take me a bit to get myself oriented again to my uh, camera. Do a little zooming here. Let's see. All right, that's not so bad. Okay, so um, Tau Fire Warrior, uh, very small model with a lot of detail. Um, the armor plates uh, have ribbing just like the Space Marine uh, plates where they uh, have cracks between the armor plates. So it requires a, a very nice uh, fine detail brush. I use the Reaper Kolinsky 10-0 um, brush. There it is. So, um, it, it's a great brush for detailing. It's There's a 30-0 Reaper Kolinsky, which is even smaller, but it's not, it's almost too small. So this one's perfect. So there it is. Uh, Reaper Kolinsky and my model. I have my model assembled and, uh, and uh, glued onto a Jawa base. This is a cobblestone design. And uh, I did not put his gun arm on because I need to be able to paint his chest piece. So don't, you, you know, with these guys, you can pretty much assemble them almost completely. I put his backpack on and his head and his other arm, but I left the gun arm off so that I have access to the, um, to the, body and I could paint the whole thing without problems. The finished piece is going to look like this. There he is. This is the finished piece. I've tried a couple of ways to paint them. And here's one. Here's the other. Actually, the finished piece will look more like this guy right here. This was a different color of base that I tried, but I liked the more pale look. If you can see the difference. So this is the one I'm going to show you right here. This is my sergeant for the squad. I have to put his backpack on. So there he is. I think that this fire warrior came out pretty well. All right, well, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and get started. That was the wrong way. So here we are, step one. It, the first step's pretty easy. Uh, just paint the whole thing with scorched brown. Paint the whole model. And uh, here I go. I'll get a little bit bigger brush for this because it's just going to be fast. I, this is a Reaper Kolinsky Zero brush. I'm just going to paint quick. Get it painted. So you got to prime in black to begin with. And then you can uh, do the scorch of brown. Get the whole model covered. I'm not so worried if it doesn't get into the cracks. That's actually kind of better for me to leave more depth when I paint those areas. The biggest thing here is quick brush strokes. Be fast so that you don't leave paint in the crevice areas, in the, in the details. Apply a paint after dipping into your pot. And uh, apply the brush and then just mix it out, spread it out really quickly so that it doesn't fill any details. I'll do his little helmet antenna afterwards, if at all. 
Those things are like purity seals to me. They're not all that necessary. I may or may not even bother with them. Alright, so I kind of like the fact that the deeper recessed areas are staying black. So I'm going to go with that. Be careful not to get too much paint into those areas. You'll never get it back out. When the scorched brown dries, it becomes almost black. Okay, while he's drying, I'm also going to paint his gun. Or actually just the arm of his gun. Am I on there? Yeah. I left the gun unattached and I primed it separately. Remember, this is painting for speed. You know, I'm painting for um, the fact that I had to paint 30 or 40 of these guys just to watch them get slaughtered on the table. So, uh... It's okay... to go quick and just get it done. While I'm doing that, I'm going to paint the armor plates of the gun as well. Try not to leave fingerprints on it. I suggest that you would take a lot more care when painting your models. All right. Okay. With the water. There he is, Scorched Brown. All right, more to come. I'll come back in a few with the next step. Java Balls! Here's the next step. On this step, you're gonna use Talcept Ochre, the Citadel Foundation color. There it is. It's great for uh, covering towel models. So, you have two options here. You can A, very precisely uh, paint every little armor plate. You'll have to do this again later on, so it's not quite necessary now. You can do it. Uh, the effect will be nicer, but it takes a lot longer to do. And it, um, and you can get the same effect using washes afterwards. So, it's really up to you. Take the time to very carefully paint every armor plate, leaving the cracks scorched brown, or paint right over the armor plates. Try not to get a lot of your paint into the recessed areas, but at the same time, painting for speed. Most importantly though, while you are trying to paint for speed, don't get any of the Talcept Ochre on your Scorched Brown. For the under layers, the clothes. It's okay to get it into the recessed areas, but avoid getting it onto the under the under layer
and then you do every armor plate like this Areas like the knee pads require extra care, so go slow on those. A little knee pad strap back there, paint that. You see what I'm doing up there? Paint his belt. It's okay if this layer of paint is sloppy. Well, not sloppy. You don't want to get the scorched brown again. But you can afford to kind of gloss over the details. I find it very hard sometimes to just let go and do that. <laughs> I'm so used to painting every precise detail on my Marines. careful on the arm don't get the hand there's a little armor plate on the top of his hand you can get but the rest should remain brown I'm not going to bother up here because that's where his little shoulder pad goes. What's the 
time. Seven minutes, okay, we're good. Funny thing, I just, I got a whole string of emails today from someone who was obviously unhappy with my painting videos. Um, I'm not sure how, how he did it, but he managed to like send his emails from my email address. Don't know what he did. But, uh, so I couldn't tell where they were coming from, except for his IP. I managed to get his IP and see that way. But, you know, he, it was just some pure hate about my How to Paint Blood Angels videos. And the thing is, like, I understand if you don't like it, you know. But, you know, hundreds of people have bought the videos and thoroughly enjoyed them. So, and I offer an unconditional, uh refund if you're not happy with this video let me know and I'll happily give you your money back I happen to think it's a great investment for 11 bucks well I'm probably gonna raise the price of my videos but even even 15 bucks 20 bucks it's a great investment because uh, what I'm giving you is some solid information that's hard to find but also I'm demonstrating this I'm not just telling you I'm showing you so um, anyway, the guy hated my Blood Angels videos and sent me a string of emails, said that he was sending my, uh, signing up for gay porn sites with my email address, you name it, whatever it hate he could muster, he was throwing my way. <laughs> it was kind of funny, I only wish I could find him. You know, he was, he was completely ripping on my Blood Angels video, which is meant for, for newbies. So while it, his criticisms were all based on the fact that it's a newbie video, painting newbie models. You know, it wasn't an advanced painter video. So of course some of, the, some of the stuff I was showing wasn't really top golden demon quality stuff. Like one of his criticisms were um, the fact that I left the, uh, the grill of the, of the vent of the face of the marine mask kind of red and just put ink over it to fill in some of the cracks or whatever you know anyway enough so there he is get him uh, done with Talcept Ochre more to come